Today we will show you how to upgrade your KP3s Pro with the Y-axis Linear Guide Upgrade Kit. You can get the kit from our online stores. So here's the original one, no linear guide. It's actually solid and is stable. And here's the one upgraded. We installed two linear guides above the original rails. Can you see the difference when I slide them? You will need some screwdrivers. The original tools would be okay as well. And the linear guides themselves. They look absolutely solid and have high accuracy. They are included in the kit. And use the T-nuts to fix. And the new bracket. Yours would be black and better. Before everything, slide the heat bed and make sure it's right. Then remove all the knobs. Collect the springs. And put the heat bed aside. Then use the 3.0 mm screwdriver. Loose and remove the screws on the top of the rails. Yours would be the belt tension kit. Hold up the printer a little bit. Loose and remove the screws on its bottom. You need to release the belt first. In the latest version, you can remove the belt tension kit now. So we just removed it. Also release the belt in the original bracket. Here's how it looks like. Four wheels beneath it. They hold the rails stably. After that, we can install the rails guides. Install the T-nuts if you haven't. Put them on the rails. Align the first screw on the top. That is the starting point. Adjust the position, make sure it's aligned. In this step, you will need two prints to locate. Files will be available in the description. Once the guide aligns and locates well, you can start to tighten the screws. You can also choose to settle the second guide. It would be a good reference, in case they have differences. Just do some checking and make sure everything is good. It is very important for avoiding the layer shifting or other issues. And another thing I want to mention is, don't get the T-nuts too tight or the guide won't slide in. Then use the 2.0 mm screwdriver to tighten the T-nuts. Tighten the screws one by one, not fixed yet, in case some adjustments are needed. We put the T-nuts in every other hole. You can also double it, but it's not necessary. So the first guide is okay. Now we can do the same on the second one. Remember to move the slider, or some T-nuts will be missed. Once the position is correct and accurate, tight all the screws to fix the two guides. All right, they are all set. After that, loose the screw to remove the pulley. Then take out the belt. Next, install it on the new bracket. So here is the new bracket. There is a long screw beneath it. It is for the Y-axis limit switch. You need to make sure it's on the left back corner.
Put the belt joints into the notches. Let the mount hold both sides. Check and make sure the belt direction is correct. Next, install the new bracket on the rails. Drag and arrange the belt. After that, put the metal cover back. Tight the screws to fix it. It is slightly different from the newer version. Then push the pulley with the belt to the end. Insert the screw to fix it. Use a 2.5 mm screwdriver. Tight the screw and fix the pulley. The belt should be tight and held by the pulley. If not, push the pulley to align it again. Then hold the printer up and install the screws at the bottom. Tight them up to fix it. Now you're ready to install the bracket. Notice the long screw beneath it. Reinstall it on the back left side if you get it wrong. Adjust a bracket and align the two sliders. Once you've finished, Install the screws to settle the bracket. Not tight them yet, in case any adjustments are needed. You can install them crossly. It will help you locate. Once you have done, make sure all the screws are tight and secure. Slide the bracket back and forth. Make sure it slides well. Then you can put the heat bed back. Lift one side and put the springs under the screws. Don't align yet. Until the springs are settled. Adjusted the screws and let them fit in the hole. Then do the same on the other side. After that, you are ready to install the knobs. Install the knobs one by one. Don't get them too tight yet. And don't forget to do the bed leveling process after that. That's all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Enjoy your new KP3s Pro and happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.